Hey guys, this is just going to be a short video with instructions on how to utilize enemy IDF units and how to set them up if the mission maker has not set it up correctly. Hopefully the mission maker has set it up correctly so you won't have to worry about these steps but if for some reason they haven't or you wish to place down extra units then these are the steps that you need to follow uh, to set it up correctly so it will respond to the fire support modules. I'm going to show you an example of some that have been set up correctly and then I'm going to show you the steps on how to place down and set up units mid-mission correctly so then you can use them with the fire support module. Okay so these are some units that have been set up correctly in the mission and you can see here they have the uh, headless client ignore module placed and synced to those units. They also ha already have the scripts initialized in the units which will allow them to fire uh, with unlimited ammo um, and it will also prevent them from uh, lambs from taking over their control. So these ones here as you'll see if I go to the modules fire support I'm going to place a marker correction a target just somewhere in the distance call it alpha and then I just simply utilize the artillery fire mission now as you're gonna see when I use this it is they are only gonna fire one shot initially this is because their ammo is automatically set to about 60 or 50 percent. This is due to uh, the settings that we have in the add-ons which cause it to reduce its ammo um, upon spawning. Once the script that is inside these, once it fires its first round, it will then fill it all the way to 100 percent. So if you don't manually set these to 100 like so, the gun will only fire one round no matter how many you put in the fire mission. Once you have done the one round you can use the fire mission module again and it will then fire the correct number of rounds. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I place that on, select HE, if I go 10 rounds select alpha target, hit OK you see that the three guns will turn and they'll fire one round each. You can now see that they have been set to a hundred. Okay, so that's what I mean by the script has run because it's fired, it's triggered the script and it has now run it and filled their ammunition up to a hundred percent. Now every time that they fire, that script will run and it will fill their ammo back to a hundred percent. So if I do the same fire mission, same rounds, this time it'll fire, or correction, they'll fire 10 rounds each. And it'll continue like that until complete. Okay, for continuing sakes, I'm going to delete them. The exact same with mortars or any other weapon that is an IDF weapon or uh, static. Okay, the exact same procedure. I'm not sure if they'll reach this, it might be too far away. Okay, so you can see they're up to 100%. Now it seems like the mortars didn't require to have that um, ammo set to 100% because I believed it was on 68%. Uh, um, so it may differ for some units. But if you use the fire artillery fire mission module and it only shoots one round, then just do it again and it should fire the total number of rounds. This isn't so much a problem because we can use those first initial rounds as... Um, as zeroing rounds so it will be a little bit more realistic anyway right now let's say that you wanted to place down some units some artillery units that obviously have not had the setup correctly uh, prior to mission start so I'm going to go into uh, units I'm going to go down to turrets I'm going to go to the D30 I'm going to place down three of these doesn't matter if they're grouped but I'm just going to ungroup them for now 
Now, something to note is that the M119s, especially the OP41, don't tend to behave. So there are some units that just simply won't do what they're told, no matter what I do. Okay, so utilize the ones that you know work. Uh, these D30s work really well. The mortars tend to work really well also. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna place down the unit. You're then going to double click on it, set it to 100, and then you're going to enter in that script which I've pasted or got in the Azus pinned message. Okay, I've got it here in the drop down because I've used it recently. I then make sure that it's going to be globally executed, which you can see is it's showing the G here. I then hit OK. I then right click on this unit, go down to Lambs Danger FSM, disable AI. Okay, so that script that I entered in here was the reload or rearm script. The Lambs Danger FSM is disabling the Lambs taking over control of that unit. I then need to do the same for all the others. Like so. Don't forget to disable the AI. Right. Now, if I use the fire support module or artillery fire mission module, they should all work. Okay, like so. Just show you a quick example of the M119 as to what it does if it's not going to work no matter what, which that means you have to choose a different unit. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, execute, yep. Turn off lambs danger. Use the fire support module. So it will turn and it will face that direction, but it generally doesn't fire. Okay, so if you notice this happening, then you may have missed a step. So I would delete that unit and start again, or like I said, some units just simply don't want to behave. Okay, so then choose a different unit and attempt that instead. All right, that's it for now. If you guys do have any questions, always hit up one of the Zeus members or any of the J4 members. Um, but during missions, just do your best and try to work through the issues as best you can. But as long as you follow those steps correctly, um, and or the mission makers place down the units prior to, then you shouldn't have any problems. All right, good luck, gents, and thank you.